this year for the Mean Green, all three of them uh, out for the season uh, due to injury. Tarleton will be wearing their black alternate road uniforms, purple numbers front and back in white trim. Tarleton on the front in purple with white trim. No names on the back, but the purple shoulders, black pants as well with the purple and white stripe lining uh, running down the side of each and the Tarleton interlocking T and Shape of Texas logo on either side. North Texas in the home whites tonight. Green numbers front and back. Green UNT on the front with the green nameplates on the back. Single green stripe that runs down the length of the jerseys and the white pants as well. First game of a strange 2020-2021 season being played on the backdrop of a pandemic. A lot of twists and turns expected this season, but we will be here for it all as we're about to get the tip off underway. Lucy Benson going up against Emma Villas, the Paris, France native, transferred from Texas Tech, who was granted immediate eligibility. And right down low, Jackson gets this one to Gomez, but her shot is blocked, but Noble gets the rebound for three. That one's no good. And another offensive rebound, though, from Townley. Gets it to Jackson. She's at the top of the point, holding it there. Now kicks this one to Noble, who rotates up to the point, kicks it over again to Boyd on the outside. Boyd goes corner for Quincy Noble for three. That one's still no good, but another offensive rebound. Then we get whistles and a jump ball. It'll be Tarleton's possession off the alternating possession, but three solid offensive rebounds on that sequence for the Mean Green. Still scoreless, though, 9.34 to play here in the first quarter. And now the Texans have their first offensive possession here of the evening. In Tarleton, this is their first ever game at the Division I level after jumping up from Division II over the summer. There's a bit of a collision, but no call. Jumper from the free throw line is off the mark for Escamilla, and a rebound is taken by Noble, and then we get a foul called against Tarleton. That'll be on Emily Cunningham as she picks up her first personal, first team foul called here against the Texans, and the Mean Green take it over. Nia Boyd takes this one up the floor wearing number 11 this season. Different number for her. She sported number three during her freshman campaign. She'll swing this one outside to Noble who drives the baseline and tried to get it to Gomez and Gomez lost control of it and now Tarleton comes away with the steal and comes back up the floor. It is Ziona Dorsey with it trying to work her way around Noble but Noble playing some strong defense. Now again trying to fake right cut left shot floater up no good but she does draw the foul on Quincy Noble. That is Noble's first first team foul against the Mean Green in this game. And that will send Ayanna Dorsey to the free throw line. Dorsey, a 5'6 freshman guard out of Birdville High School in Saginaw. And the first free throw from her is up and good. We finally have our first points of the game, 1-0 Tarleton, a minute and nine seconds into this contest. Dorsey holds numerous Birdville High School records. And she makes both free throws here and gives Tarleton a 2-0 lead. Boyd goes down low to Jackson. Jackson's just going to put up the three. That one off the mark, hit kind of the side of the iron and rolled around and kicked out for the rebound from Escamilla. And now Tarleton comes back the other way. Escamilla at the point with it being guarded by Townley. She'll kick it over to Dorsey. Dorsey holds there. And then we get whistles and a foul away 
from the play. This is going to be on Emma Villas. And she picks up her first personal, second team foul against the Mean Green. And this will be Tarleton Ball on the inbound off the Mean Green baseline. It's Emily Cunningham inbound to Escamilla. They'll send this one down low. That is Cunningham trying to turn and fire. It sits on the rim for a solid three seconds and then finally drops to give the Texans a 4-0 lead. 8.21 to play here in the first quarter. The Mean Green still looking for their first points of this contest. It is Boyd with it. Now we get whistles away from the ball yet again. And this is also going to be on Emily Cunningham of Tarleton as she picks up her second personal foul. Two quick fouls for the junior out of Italy, Texas. And she'll now check out as Callie Boyles, the Denton native who went to Geyer High School, comes in now for Tarleton. Jackson inbounds this one to Noble. Noble, mid-range jumper, that one off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound, though, by Villas. And then that one is jumped, and Tarleton comes back the other way with it rolling. Nice little fake to get inside and get it to land for Ayanna Dorsey. And it's a 6-0 lead here for Tarleton to start this game. North Texas 0 for 5 from the floor to open up the season here. Jackson with it, she's trying to turn around inside. Shot up, no good, but a foul drawn there by Jazion Jackson. The guilty party is Marissa Escamilla. She gets her first foul, third team foul called against Tarleton, and that will put Jazion Jackson on the line. 7.53 to play in the first quarter. The Mean Green still looking for their first points of this contest. They are 0 of 6 from the floor as Destiny McDowell checks into the game for the Mean Green. And Jackson, the sophomore out of Skyline High School in Dallas, will take a pair of free throws. Free throws were point of contention last year for Jazion. She was just 50% on the season, and she'll miss her first free throw attempt here. Jackson averaged almost six points a game last year. Her second free throw is good, nothing but net. And so the Mean Green are on the board six to one here with 7.52 and counting to play in the opening quarter. Texans are in front. It is Dorsey at the point. She'll swing this one down low to Morton, who goes around the perimeter and then some miscommunication as she tried to get a bounce pass to Dorsey. Dorsey was not ready for it and it rolled out of bounds. And no, I think they're saying this hit a Mean Green player on its way out, and it did. And so this will stay with Tarleton, inbound near the Mean Green bench for Dorsey, trying to find somebody, just does get it to Lucy Benson. She'll go right back over now to Morton. Morton goes high, down low. Townley got in the way of that one, poked it free. And McDowell comes away with the steal, and now the Mean Green bring it back up the floor. High pass over to Jackson, up top for McDowell, who tries to drive inside around the free throw line. Left side of the paint, shot up no good, but draws a foul that time. North Texas can't get the shots to land, but... They are able to draw some fouls here early in this game as Callie Boyles picks up the block. That's her first personal fourth team foul. And now McDowell will head to the free throw line. Her first is in and out. No good. McDowell again. The returning leading scorer for the Mean Green averaged 11.1 points per game, only returning player to average double figures, but that only came in 14 games as she missed more than half the season due to injury last year. And she makes the second, that makes it a 6-2 at Tarleton lead with 7.20 and counting here to play in the first quarter. It is Hoy with it, the leading scorer returning from Tarleton. She'll sling this one off to Dorsey. Goes point for Benson, round into the far corner, and that one poked away, and McDowell comes away with the steal again, and now the Mean Green bring it up. There's the pass over to Boyd. Boyd, right-handed floater up and good, and the first field goal of the year is down for the Mean Green. 6-4 is the score. Boyd off the assist from DMAC. And Tarleton comes back up the floor. It is Dorsey slowing down the pace just a little bit. She'll work her way over to the left side. Now tries to drive in the paint. High arcing shot is no good, but she is able to draw the foul as Jazion Jackson gets called. That's her first personal 13 foul. And that will now put Ayanna Dorsey at the free throw line. Dorsey has four of Tarleton's six points so far in this first quarter and make that five of their seven points as she makes the first free throw. Three of her five points have come via the charity stripe, but she misses the second one there. McDowell gets the rebound. Now gets it to Nia Boyd, and Boyd 
We'll work this one up the floor, operating here from the point just off to the right side. Now being double teamed, trying to avoid losing control of it, and she can, as that one's stolen away by Lucy Benson, and then Benson turns it over to McDowell, and the Mean Green keep it in the offensive zone. Everyone has to come back down as that play was going back the other way. Now Townley drives the lane. Her finger roll lay-in is no good, and Tarleton comes away with the rebound, and now the Texans fly back down the wing. Here's a high arcing three-pointer that's no good, and it goes off the hands of a Tarleton player. That was Callie Boyles. Goes out of bounds, and it'll be Mean Green basketball here. Still a 7-4 contest. Tarleton in front with 6-11 to play here in the first quarter. McDowell inbounds it to Jackson, and now North Texas slowly works this one up the floor here at the Super Pit from Denton, the opening game of the 2020-2021 season. And one of just two home non-conference games. As here's a nice pass from Jackson down low to Townley. Townley got around the defender there and was able to finish it off with the left hand. Now it's just a one-point contest with the Texans still in front, 7-6 here. We'll sling this one point for Morton. She tries to get around Noble, and then an offensive foul is going to be called against J.C. Morton as she picks up her first. That was Quincy Noble who was able to draw the foul, and the Mean Green take it over, now looking to grab their first lead here of this game and of the season as Tarleton has committed four turnovers in the last two and a half minutes of game action. It is Nia Boyd with it just to the left of the point. Now she'll go point. Walks up to the free throw line, now tries to drive inside around three players, got the shot up, no good. Offensive rebound though from Townley, her put back too high, and then this one goes out of bounds and it will be Tarleton ball. A couple chances down low there for the Mean Green as Townley's second shot kind of awkwardly was put up. Might have been some contact there that went uncalled, but it hit the top of the glass before rolling towards Nia Boyd and out of bounds. And so with 5-11 to play here in the first quarter, it'll be back to Tarleton as Dorsey comes away with this one. She'll hold it, fake a pass down low, and then instead she turns it right over to Jackson, who gets it to Boyd. Nia Boyd going right inside the paint. Her shot blocked, but the rebound grabbed by Jackson, and then Jackson on the putback is able to draw the foul. Foul is against Marissa Escamilla, her second personal. 16 foul against Tarleton State, and a timeout taken. 7-6 is your score. The Texans in front of the Mean Green with 4.57 to play in the first quarter. This is Mean Green Basketball on their field IMP College. Last three minutes of three minutes and nine seconds of action in that time frame. They've committed five turnovers as well. But North Texas struggling right now to take advantage of it. They're just two of eleven from the floor for 18% shooting. Also just two of four from the free throw stripe. North Texas did put together a small 4-0 run at the 703 mark here of this first quarter, but yet to take a lead in this game, and they could here as Jazzy on Jackson heads to the free throw line, her second trip, down by one. It's a 7-6 game, Tarleton in front. Jackson makes both free throws. That would give the Mean Green their first lead of the night. She was one for two on her previous trip. And the first free throw here is no good off the back of the rim and out. That'll keep it 7-6 here. Again, 4.57 to play in the opening quarter. 
Jackson, second free throw is good. Staying at even 50%. That ties this game at seven as Jackson checks out and Destiny Brooks making her Mean Green debut. Checking into the game as well as freshman Maddie Cleary, Char Shepard also in as well. Brooks was at Cal State Northridge two years ago. She was with the program last year but had to sit out due to transfer rules. Cleary, a freshman from Prosper, is here's a nice defensive play, almost stolen away. Shepard and McDowell in the middle of it all, but unable to come away with the steal. Instead, it'll be a foul call here on the Mean Green. That one's going to go against McDowell, her first personal. Fourth team foul against the Mean Green. Next one will put Tarleton in the bonus for the rest of this quarter as it is Benson trying to drive inside on Shepard. Her shot up no good. Good defense there by Shard. She'll come away with the rebound, get it to Nia Boyd, and now they bring this one up the floor. Kicks it outside to Cleary. Fink driving inside. Now throws it out again here to Boyd. Goes point for McDowell, who rotates left side. Nice spin move from McDowell. Little floater from just inside the left elbow is no good. Shepard trying to go for the rebound, but unable to get a handle on it, and it goes out of bounds. And we'll go back to the Texans. 7-7 game here at the Super Pit. 4-13 to play in the first quarter. Carlton back the other way with it. We'll send this one out here now for Boyles. She'll get it to Morton on the far side. Now sends it point for Hoy, and Hoy's floater no good. She's almost able to get the rebound, but Char Shepard out muscles her for the ball and now brings it back up the floor. Shepard, Euro step, throws one up, no good, almost landed. Great effort there by Char, but Benson comes away with the defensive rebound, and now here come the Texans. Benson near the point, holding on to it there. North Texas, one of seven, one of their last seven field goals. Here's a shot up and good from J.C. Morton to give Tarleton the lead at nine to seven. Mean Green over their last five from the floor, one of their last seven. And now Boyd gets this one to Shepard. Shepard's shot up, does not land, but she does draw the foul, and that will put Char Shepard on the free throw line as Callie Boyles comes away with her foul, and now Shepard will head to the line. McDowell checks out, and Rochelle Lee checks in, making her Mean Green debut, the transfer from Chattanooga, who sat out all of last season with NCAA transfer rules. Shepard last year shot 62% from the charity stripe, averaged 7.2 points per game. She played in all but one contest last season. That was against Xavier of Louisiana. Shar's first free throw attempt is good. Shepard also at times was a monster on the glass. Against Marshall back on January 4th and she makes the second free throw to tie it at nine. She came away with 23 rebounds, second most in a single game in program history, trailing only her teammate last year, Anisha George. It is Dorsey for Tarleton back the other way, gets it to Morton, slings it over to Fari. And now Fari tried to go down low, and a foul will be drawn here. This is going to be against the Mean Green. It's going to be on Rochelle Lee as she picks up her first. And now with the Mean Green picking up their fifth team foul, that will put Carlton into the bonus for the remainder of this quarter, the last 301 of it. It's Lucy Benson at the free throw line. 68% from the stripe last season, and she will miss the first one. The Kennedale, Texas native. Part of that scoring trio last year for Tarleton with Escamilla and Boyles. Here's her second attempt for the 5'11 senior, and that one is down good. That gives Tarleton a one-point lead, 10 to nine, as we run under three minutes to play here in the first quarter from the Super Pick. It is Boyd operating from the point, trying to get around Morton Camp, though, sends it out to Brooks from downtown. That one no good, and then a big collision down low, and a foul will be called against Tarleton. And, oh, no, is this going to be against the Mean Green? It is going to be against the Mean Green. That's on Rochelle Lee. She'll pick up her second. And again, with Tarleton in the bonus, that will 
put Lucy Benson back on the free throw line as the Mean Green struggling to shoot. They've not made a field goal in the last three minutes and three seconds. One of their last eight over their last six. Second attempt, or second trip rather, to the free throw line for Benson. And her first one is in and out, no good. Second attempt is good. And so Benson, two for four from the charity stripe, and she's given Tarleton a two-point lead, 11 to nine, 245 to play. Now, Nia Boyd just gonna attack the glass on her own and throws it up in the right hand and gets it to land. Nia Boyd, four points now in this contest. That leads the mean green, and we are tied up at 11. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Here's a nice fake by Benson to create some space. She tries to drive inside, shot up and good over the outstretched arms of freshman Tamisha Lampkin, who's checked in for the first time in her collegiate career, and then makes it a 13-11 contest, as now we get whistles and another foul away from the play. This one is gonna be on Tarleton. It's gonna be Ayanna Dorsey picking up her first personal foul. Or Texas now in the bonus for the last 217 of this first quarter, and it'll be Char Shepard heading back to the line, her second trip to the charity stripe in this game. Made both of her free throws in her previous attempt, and she'll make her first ear. Makes it 13 to 12. Shepard, the Killeen native. Second free throw also good, and Shepard's got four points, tying her with Nia Boyd for the scoring lead. And now back the other way with it, here comes Tarleton. It is Dorsey hanging on to it. She'll kick this one over to Hoy, waiting on it, rotating over to the far side. She'll go point again here for J.C. Morton. Gets it point for Dorsey, hanging on to it. Tried to bounce pass it instead, had to get away. Now it's eight seconds on the shot clock, throws this one up, and another foul will be called. This one on the mean green will go to Nia Boyd, first Foul against Boyd, and once again, that will put first free throw attempt is up and good. Second attempt, also good. Brianna Dorsey, and it's a 15 to 13 lead for Tarleton, and it's Boyd with it. Holding, and rotate over here to the point, faked right, cut left, now puts up a jumper that's off the mark, didn't even find the rim, hit the right side of the glass, and then kicked back down. Rebound is grabbed by Benson, and Dorsey brings this one up the floor. 15-13 is your score. Tarleton in front, 90 seconds here to play in the opening quarter. The Texans lead. It is Benson, high pass over to Hoy, and Hoy throws this one up and gets it to land, and it's a four-point lead for Tarleton, 17-13. Minute 12 here to play in the opening quarter, and now an offensive foul called against Char Shepard. And Char picks up her first. And again, it has been a free throw late first quarter here. 20 free throws attempted between these two teams. Each seven of 10. Well, this is an offensive foul, so it will not result in free throws. It will just result in a Tarleton possession. And it is Fari with it. Puts this one over to Hoy. Hoy waiting, trying to spin around here, can't get loose, and she'll get called for an over and back. And that'll send it over to the mean green. Maddie Townley will inbound it here. Destiny Brooks brings this one up the floor. Brooks. 
Fake to pass at the outside. Now just tries to roll around baseline. Slings it up top to Shepard. Shepard trying. Throws this one up right-handed. No good. Popped in and out. And another rebound taken by Benson. And she'll work this one back up the floor. It is Hoy with it. Hoy waiting near side. Be guarded by Brooks. Cleary nearby. Slings it over to Morton. And Morton holding on to it. And off the knee of somebody. And this will be with a mean green off a Mean Green player, and a foul will be called on a Mean Green player. That's Shepard as she picks him up second, and that will once again put Lucy Benson. Kira Neal now checking in for what will be her collegiate debut as well. Neal was supposed to play last season, but tore her ACL in the preseason, ended up not being able to suit up for any games last year, took a red shirt as the first free throw from Benson is good. Makes it an 18 to 13 Tarleton lead as they're on a bit of a roll here, made their last three field goals in a row. Second free throw attempt from Benson, in and out, no good, but an offensive rebound's taken by Morton, and Tarleton can reset here with 10 seconds to play. Here's a three from Dorsey, that one off the mark, no good. Neal fighting for it, couldn't get it, still loose on the court, and that one rolls out of bounds as a sprawling Morton tried to get it to Fari and couldn't. And just 3.1 seconds left on the clock here in the first quarter. Maybe time for a quick shot from the Mean Green. They get it to Brooks. Brooks walks this one up. Clock starts. Brooks shoots it as the time expires, and it is no good. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. 18-13 is the score. Tarleton in front of North Texas. This is Mean Green basketball from Learfield IMG College. is the score. Mean Green right now being led by a combo of Nia Boyd and Char Shepard, who each have four points. Meanwhile, Ayanna Dorsey, who's been to the free throw line three times in this game, five of six, also has a field goal to give her a game high seven points. Carlton shot 50% from the floor in that first quarter, five of 10. And no one has hit a three yet in this game, combined 0 for six in that first quarter between the two programs. And the Mean Green will have it here to start the second quarter. It is Jackson. She'll get this one over to Quincy Noble. Noble with the left-handed floater, knocks it down. And Quincy Noble, first points for her in a Mean Green uniform. The transfer from New Mexico State, who sat out last season, is on the board. It's an 18-15 game. Tarleton in front and now with the ball. It is Dorsey with it, tries to swing it around, can't get any free space, gets it past Jackson, goes point here now for Benson. She'll work it over to the wing for Hoy, and Hoy trying to get through collision, but an offensive foul called against Alexa Hoy. The 5'9 guard picks up her first personal foul. It's the first team foul this quarter against Tarleton, and it'll be Mean Green ball here. So they'll work it up the floor. Gets it over to Noble, who was all by herself in the corner, then fakes it, tried to pass it to Townley, and that one did not connect as it kind of deflected. And I think the officials are going to say this is North Texas ball. I thought it hit Townley 
on its way out, and the officials say no. It hit a Tarleton player, so the Mean Green will maintain possession here with 24 on the shot clock. They inbound this one. Here's a jumper put up from Summer Jones. That one missed the mark. And Tarleton comes away with a loose ball and will now walk it up the floor as Jones in the game for the first time this evening. It is Dorsey with it on the near wing. She'll go point now for Benson onto the opposite wing for Hoy. Her shot up no good, and Townley comes away with the ball and then slings this one over to Jackson. She'll try and work this one up the floor. Getting around a defender goes to Townley, who faked the jumper, now dribbling right-handed, kicks this one out to Kira Neal, and Neal stumbling, so throws this one up while falling, wouldn't go, and it goes back to Tarleton, and now they have numbers back the other way. It is Morton with it, one-on-one -on -one with Jones. Her layup, no good, and Noble comes away with the loose basketball. 8.35 to play here in the first quarter. It's an 18-15 Tarleton lead. Quincy right to the cup, sat on the rim, would not go, but an offensive rebound from Townley. She'll go point for Summer Jones for three, and Summer Jones from downtown ties the game up at 18. 8-18 to play in the second quarter. 5-0 run here for the Mean Green to tie this game back up at the Super Pit. It is Dorsey on the far wing trying to work her way around. Jackson cannot, but does draw the foul. And that will be the second in Jackson of this game. And it was a shooting foul, so that will put who else again but Ayanna Dorsey back at the free throw. Dorsey, it's her fourth trip to the strike in this contest as Jackson checks out and Aya Boyd comes back in. Dorsey, five of six so far from the free throw line in this game. She's got seven points, which leads all scores, make it eight as she knocks down the first one. And gives Tarleton the lead back at 19 to 18. 8.07 to play here in the first quarter as the second free throw from the 5'6 freshman is also good. She is seven of eight from the line and has given Tarleton a two-point lead, 20 to 18. It is Boyd with it, working around right side, slings this one out to Noble. Noble from three, that one's good for Quincy Noble and the Mean Green have their first lead of the evening, 21 to 20, off the three-pointer from Quincy Noble. Press defense now being put on by North Texas. Dorsey throwing on the brakes, jumper from the free throw line, knocks it down, and Tarleton back in front, 22 to 21. Shots now starting to land for both schools after a Sluggish first quarter. It's now Nia Boyd. Boyd on the run. Shot no good, but does draw the foul. This one will be on Ayanna Dorsey. She picks up her second, and that will put Nia Boyd at the free throw line. A 5-6 sophomore point guard by way of Horn High School in Mesquite, Texas. She played in all 31 games last season, had 19 starts, led the team in assists with 94. Six shy of hitting triple digits for the year. Gave her a 3.0, dead even, three assists per game average as she makes the first free throw to tie the game up at 22. Second free throw from Nia is good. Perfect two for two from her. She takes over the scoring lead for North Texas with six points, and it's back to a mean green lead, 23 to 22. They'll send this one up to Cunningham at the point. She'll work it around to Hoy. Hoy tries to go down low, now kicks this one out for Fari from three. That one is no good, and the mean green box it out, and it's Neal who comes away with the rebound. Lost the handle on it for just a second, but is able to re-grab possession. Now drives inside and will draw a foul. She tried to attack the paint. This one will go against Lucy Benson. Benson gets called for her first personal. Third team foul against Tarleton this quarter. Still a one point mean green lead. Say Neal was not in the act of shooting, so this will be an inbound for Summer Jones off the Texans baseline. Jones looking for somebody to get open, gets it to Quincy Noble. Noble, spin move to the left, her shot up, no good, but does draw the foul as someone's shoe went flying in the middle of all that. That was Maddie Townley. And this foul is going to be called against Naomi Fari, her first personal. And that'll put Quincy Noble at the free throw line. Transferred to North Texas from New Mexico State to be closer to home. She spent kind of the second half of her childhood 
originally by way of California, just outside of the Oakland area. She makes the first free throw there. Noble appeared in 19 games with the Lobos in Albuquerque two seasons ago before transferring to North Texas, sat out all of last year. She makes both free throws here. The Mean Green have a three-point lead, 25 to 22, with 6.57 to play here in the second quarter. Fari with it, rather that's Hoy, excuse me. She'll send this one down to Benson. Benson off the left elbow, trying to spin around Maddie Townley. Nice move, throws this one up, but some good defense from Townley. Made it a hard shot, now Townley comes away with the rebound after it changed hands a couple times. Townley down low to Jones. Jones, easy right-handed layup. Knocks it down, 27-22. Five-point lead for the Mean Green. A 6-0 run over the last minute. As they've made their last three field goals in a row. Hoy again with it, trying to work around some defensive miscommunication. Hoy just puts up the jumper and knocks it down. Summer Jones and Quincy Noble immediately acknowledging to each other something was miscommunicated, and a timeout will be taken by Jay Lee Mitchell after the open jumper, making it a 27-24 game. We'll take our final timeout here of the first half. It's 27-24. North Texas is in front. This is Mean Green Basketball on the Mean Green Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. Thirteen in the first quarter. The Mean Green have outscored Tarleton 14 to six, and we're not even four minutes into the second quarter here as they've already eclipsed their first quarter scoring total. Shooting's been much better. Went from 17 and a half percent in the first quarter now to 57 percent in the second quarter. Four of seven. That includes a pair of threes, one each from Quincy Noble and Summer Jones. That's given the Mean Green. Well, briefly gave them their biggest lead of the night at five points, though the Texans made a jump shot from their returning leading scorer, Alexa Hoy. That trimmed it back down to three from five. And that's when Jaylee Mitchell, the six-year head coach of the Mean Green, elected to call a timeout. And out of the timeout, it'll be Destiny McDowell bounding it to Nia Boyd, and Boyd will take this one up the floor. 5'6", sophomore point guard, who just drives right to the cup. Her shot kind of hit the rim awkwardly, and Maddie Townley was right there for the rebound and gets it to land on the putback, and it's a 29 to 24 mean green lead after that shot. Texans back with it, it's Hoy. Slings this one down low to Morton, who tries to turn on the left elbow. Can't get free. Townley almost stole it. She does get it back up to Fari. Lost control for a second, but is now able to find Ibarra. Under 10 seconds here on the shot clock. Ibarra can't find anybody, so gets it to Fari on the near wing. And Fari trying to drive in, cannot, but does draw a foul. This one goes against Demac, her second. <laughs> It's the second team foul here in the second quarter against the Mean Green as now Fari will inbound it off the Mean Green baseline, looking for somebody to get open. Can't find anybody. Good defense. They now just bounce it in in time to Benson. She'll sling it to Hoy, and now Hoy works from the point, moving from left to right. Now stalling against Boyd. Bounces it to the wing here for 
Oy goes back up top on Benson. Shot no good. And the rebound taken by Townley as the shot clock was winding down. Maddie Townley with it. She'll kick this one out to Brooks. Tries to work around near the point. Going one on one with Benson. Just puts up the long three. And Destiny Brooks from deep downtown knocks down the triple. And it's a 32 to 24. North Texas lead, their biggest of the night. Five of their last six shooting from the floor are the main green. Tarleton turning to fall behind here. Benson got it to Hoy. It was almost intercepted mid-pass. Now throws this one up, airballed it, didn't even find the rim, and instead it went right into the hands of Brooks. She'll get this one down to Boyd. Boyd faking right, cutting left, jumper up no good, but McDowell gets the rebound and gets it on the putback, and it's a 10-point North Texas lead. 34-24 is the score. Four and a half minutes to play in the second quarter here from the Super Pit. 7-0 run for the Mean Green over the last minute and 30 seconds. 13-2 over the last three minutes. And Hoy, a bit of a Euro step move, able to break the scoring drought on the left-handed lay-in. And that makes it 34-26 as Boyd now brings it back up the floor. Directs traffic with her right hand, dribbling with her left. Now switches hands and rolls to the right. Now passes left for Noble. Noble faked a shot, now drives in. Shooter from just inside the left elbow, no good. But offensive rebound from Townley, kick to McDowell, who finds Noble. Noble, contested shot, no good. But the rebound claimed by Brooks and a jump ball call on the floor. Alternating possessions with Tarleton State. It'll be Haley Ibarra doing the inbounding work. One of the notable changes this year due to protocols put in place to help slow and stop the spread of COVID is teams do not change floors this year. North Texas will always be attacking the south basket. Tarleton will always be attacking the north basket. One of many modifications here as this one's turned over. Boyd gets this one to Noble, who had to throw on the brakes. It was a little too far out in front of her on the pass, but she's able to recover, turn, fire, and get the jumper to land, and it's back up to a 10-point contest. 36 to 26 is now Tarleton brings this one back up the floor. It's Ibarra, the Glen Rose native. She'll sling this one over to Emily Cunningham. Cunningham goes high pass to Benson, who barely comes down with it, trying to get around Villas. Her turn, shot, fire, and the foul. What a move by Lucy Benson, the Kennedale, Texas native. Seven points for her on the shot and the foul, and that will put her on the line with a chance for an and one. Second personal foul called against the France native is now Benson looking to complete the and one. Knocks it down. Four of seven from the free throw line is Benson, and that trims it back down to a 36-29 mean green lead. Back up the floor with it comes Naya Boyd, the sophomore from Mesquite Horn. Set up the pick on McDowell, can't get it to go. Now she'll rotate over left side, just attacks the glass, throws it up, no good, but McDowell on the rebound. Shot still wouldn't go, and a foul called on the second rebound attempt. This will go against the Texans. Guilty party is Haley Ibarra. She gets called for her first personal foul, and that will put North Texas into the bonus as McDowell heads to the free throw line. Second trip to the stripe for DMAC in this game, the 5'11 sophomore. She's got three points in this game. The lone free throw she hit earlier, plus a field goal. This will be two shots here from the stripe with 3.02 to play in the first half. And DMAC's first free throw is good. Makes it a 37 29 game. Second attempt, also good for DMAC. Goes two for two on that trip, makes it a nine point game, 38 29 as we roll under three minutes to play in the first half here from the Super Pit, the Mean Green in front of Tarleton State. 
And it is Morton, J.C. Morton, bounces this one to Benson at the point. She'll go far wing now, holding it, kicks this one back up top for Morton. Morton from downtown airballed it. Went right into the outstretched arms of McDowell, who is waiting, waiting for it just underneath the basket. Now McDowell working from right to left, bounces this one to Noble, throws on the brakes, but too much momentum as Quincy Noble gets called for the travel. And the play set up pretty well, but... I think Quincy just had a little too much momentum trying to drive inside, and when she threw on the brakes, her momentum kept carrying her, and she picked up that foot, which was immediately whistled down. So now it's Tarleton ball back the other way, pass down low to Benson, turning, shot too much mustard on it, and the rebound is claimed by McDowell. She'll now work her way up the wing. McDowell goes outside. This will be for three from Brooks. It's short, and the rebound's grabbed defensively by Benson, who will pass it over to Hoy. And now Tarleton will slow this one down as Hoy works against Boy. Hoy, far side, setting up shot on the far wing. Here's a pass that was intended for Cunningham, but couldn't find it. Then a big collision, and then they say it hit Brooks on the way out. North Texas is protesting that it should be their ball, but to no avail. Looks like it's going to stay with Tarleton despite the protests from Jaylee Mitchell and her staff over on the Mean Green bench. Instead, it's Hoy who works with it for the Texans. Hoy attacking the glass and a nice right-handed shot. Gets it to land off the bank. It's a 38-31 game. Is now Boyd with it on the point. Slings it to McDowell. McDowell turning left. Now kicks this one over to Lampkin, goes down low for McDowell, and Lampkin's pass a little too tall for Demac, just over her outstretched hand, and rolls out of bounds, and so Tarleton takes back over here with 1.34 to play in the second quarter. The Mean Green holding on to a 38 to 31 lead. Have gone from shooting 17.6% in the first quarter. They have ticked that total up to 31.4% for the game, though still being outshot by Tarleton, who are at a 43.5% clip. It is Morton with it now for the Texans. Gets it over to the wing. Up top now, here's a three from Cunningham. That one no good, and Boyd comes away with the rebound. Now Boyd flying back up. Three on three back the other way. It's Noble from downtown. Quincy Noble, her second triple of the night. Gives the Mean Green a 10-point lead once again, 41 to 31. It is now Hoy on the wing, being guarded by Boyd, who almost poked it away there for a second, but Hoy recovers. She'll sling it over to Benson on the point, and now rotates to the far wing. High pass down low to Cunningham. Cunningham shot up no good, but a foul will be called against McDowell as she picks up her third personal. Got to think that might be it for DMAC for this half, and indeed it will be as she will check out. And Kira Neal will check in to the game. And that will put Emily Cunningham, the junior, standing at six feet tall, will play both the guard and the forward spots for Tarleton State. Transfer by way of Hill College, where she finished her two-year career there. She misses the first free throw. Third in program history and made three-pointers, though she does not have a good three tonight as she misses both free throws. And back the other way now from the Mean Green. It's Boyd with it, 40 seconds to play here, 41-32 game. Boyd kicks this one outside to Brooks, who lost her balance. Good job to keep it inbounds. Got it to Kira Neal. Neal with it, slings it outside to Noble, fake the three, now kicks it point again here for Boyd. Nia Boyd from downtown, Nia Boyd from three, 44 to 32, 12 point lead for the Mean Green as the shot clock is off. Final 20 seconds here of this first quarter. Hoy to Benson on the near wing. She'll wait, go point now for Morton, bounce pass onto the far wing for Hoy, goes down low to Benson, seven seconds. Benson can't get free, kicks it up top to Cunningham. Over to Hoy, trying to drive inside, that's Fari, shot up, no good, but a foul called with 1.6 seconds left in the first quarter, and it'll go against Kira Neal, her first personal, but that will now send Naomi Fari to the free throw line, the Liberty Hill product. She'll have
have two shots with just 1.6 seconds left on the clock here before the half. First free throw is good. 44-33. Second free throw attempt for the junior guard. No good. Rebound taken by Lampkin, and that is how the first half will end. So after a sluggish start, the Mean Green explode in the second quarter, going from a five-point deficit to an 11-point lead. 44-33 is your score. We are at halftime, the First State Bank Halftime Show. Coming up, this is Mean Green Basketball from Learfield IMG College.
hold on what was a dominating performance in that second quarter, 31 to 15, they outscored the Texans. Three points shy of tying the school record for points in a single quarter. That was set this past February against UTSA when they had 34 points in that late February game here at the Super Pit. What do we mean green ball to start this second quarter? Quincy Noble doing the inbounding from the midcourt line. She'll get this one to Nia Boyd in the second half officially Underway here from the Super Pit, the Mean Green holding on to an 11-point lead. It's Noble bouncing this one down low to Dorsey. Dorsey tried to turn around, got tangled up with Noble, and Noble's going to get called for the foul. That's her second personal, first team foul this quarter against the Mean Green here, just 12 seconds into the third frame. Now some confusion between the officials as they're sorting out Something with the scoreboard. Now it's all fixed and play resumes. It's Hoy with it. Being guarded by Naya Boyd uh, near the far wing. They bounce it down low and whistles and another foul will be called against North Texas. And 19 seconds into this third quarter, two quick fouls as this one goes against Summer Jones, her first personal. 22 seconds still on the shot clock for Tarleton as they inbound this one to Benson who bounces it to Hoy. Back down to Benson. She'll go high down low for Williams who tried to turn around, got tangled up with Maddie Townley, and that resulted in a jump ball. Possession arrow with Tarleton. So Naomi Fowry will inbound this one as, again, no shot clocks being reset here. So only 14 seconds to shoot here for the Texans as they set it up. It's Escamilla with it. She'll bounce it to Fowry at the point. Goes down low to Benson who tries to turn around on Townley. Spin cycle. Can't find any open space. And now gets called for a three-second violation. And that'll turn it over to the Mean Green. Nice defensive presence there from Maddie Townley and company to force the turnover. Still no score yet here in the second half, and Nia Boyd changes that, drives right to the cup and lays it in with the right hand. Powerful move there from Nia Boyd, makes it a 46-33 game, 13-point lead for the Mean Green, their biggest of this contest. It's outside for Escamilla, and then Escamilla traveled. Bit of hesitation trying to fake left and picked up that foot, and so it'll go back to the Mean Green. Noble inbounds it here to Boyd. Now they'll bring this one up the floor. Nia Boyd trying to get around, kicks it to Summer Jones. Jones from three, that one in and out, no good. Rebound taken offensively though by Townley and the offense can reset here for North Texas. It is Boyd with it. Nia Boyd waiting near the far wing, trying to get around a couple defenders, helped out by Townley. Now cuts left, kicks this one over to Jones who drives inside, almost lost it, has to bounce it outside to Noble. Six to shoot, Quincy, Noble, floater, no good. Rebound taken by Brooks and Brooks could not Keep it in bounds. Tried to throw it off the leg of a Tarleton player, but it hit Maddie Townley instead. And so it'll go to Tarleton. Texans trail by 13 here with eight and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. First game of this 2020-2021 season that looks a lot different than anyone ever will and it probably ever has. As the shot missed, the Noble turned it over, trying to get an outlet pass going. Escamilla. Comes away with the steal. She'll get it to Dorsey. Shot up, kind of glanced off the hand of Maddie Townley, but still found the basket. And that trims North Texas's lead down to 11 points, 46 to 35 here, under eight minutes to play in the third quarter. It is Quincy Noble spinning left, bouncing it down low, almost turned it over. Townley was able to pop it back to her though, and she recovers, gets it to Boyd, now sends it outside for Jones at the point. Jones with it, still 14 seconds to shoot. She'll go point again for Boyd, who faked right, fakes left, now drives right, gets through two defenders, shot up, no good, but does draw the foul. The speed of Nia Boyd wreaking havoc in this game as Ayanna Dorsey gets the third personal foul out of it, and that'll put Boyd back at the free throw line for the second time tonight. Boyd with 11 points now in double figures. And she misses the first free throw. She's just a single point behind Quincy Noble for the game lead. Second attempt for Boyd is good. Three of four in this game, and 
the lead for the Mean Green back up to 12, 47 to 35. It is Hoy trying to get around Brooks. She'll bounce it over to Dorsey. Dorsey trying to get around Summer Jones, but couldn't. Lost the handle for a bit. Now gets it to Escamilla. Goes over to Fari. Fari faked left. Now tried to drive right. Poked away briefly by Noble. Gets a pass down low instead to Escamilla. Trying to get it around Boyd, and she just does. That ball barely able to fall through. That makes it a 47-37 game. It is Nia Boyd back the other way with it. Four of 10 shooting night for the sophomore from Mesquite Horn. She'll get it to Noble. Noble arcing pass down low to Townley. Shot set on the rim, no good. And it's saved barely in bounds by Escamilla. And then a foul will be called on the Mean Green. That'll go against Maddie Townley. Picks up her first personal. That's the third team foul against the Mean Green here in this quarter. And the ball will go back to Tarleton as they trail by 10 here, 6.50 and moving to play in this third quarter. It is Dorsey trying to get around Brooks. She'll sling it over to Hoy, who holds it there. Goes point now for Escamilla. Sends it to the near wing for Hoy, who rotates back to the point, bounces it to Benson, who goes outside, now sends it down low for Escamilla, trying to get around Jones. Her shot no good, but a putback put up and knocked down by Naomi Fari. And North Texas's lead has evaporated down to single digits. It's an eight-point game, 47 to 39. It is Boyd with it. She'll send it outside to Summer Jones, who puts up the three and swishes it in. Summer Jones from downtown once more. Her second three-pointer of this game has pushed the Mean Green lead back up to 11. Now some paint traded between players coming up the floor, and that will result in a foul call against the Mean Green. Destiny Brooks picks up her first. It's the fourth team foul against North Texas as Jazion Jackson will come in. Quincy Noble comes out. 22 seconds still on the shot clock here for Tarleton as they inbound this one near the broadcast table. It is Dorsey with it here for the Texans. She'll kick it up to Benson, operating off the right elbow, trying to get around Towley. Good defense from Towley. Contested shot, wouldn't go, and then Towley able to come away with the ball and get it to Jackson. And here come the Mean Green back up the other way. It is Jazzy on with it. Jackson holding. There, now backs up, slows things down a bit, cuts towards the left, now operating from the wing, gets it over to Boyd at the point. Boyd fakes right, moves left for a bit, now shifts into reverse, kicks it out to Summer Jones, thought about a three, did not take it. Shot clock is down to 10 seconds. It is Boyd faking left, spinning, trying to get it outside, and traveled. That'll send it back over to Tarleton with a exhale of exasperation from Nia Boyd, almost a great single-handed effort to make something out of that play, but instead gives the ball back to Tarleton, and they'll bring it up the floor. Dorsey with it, trying to get past Brooks. She holds on the brakes, now hands it off to Fowry, who is in a lot of traffic, and now we get whistles and an offensive foul the other way. That is on Callie Boyles, her third personal, third team foul against Tarleton. So again, this game has uh, not exactly been clean. You can definitely tell there's a little bit of rust, and it's been a game that's featured a lot of fouls. Of course, uh, off season unlike any other that was essentially shortened due to the coronavirus pandemic. Here's a nice pass inside. Jackson tried to put up the shot, but that was blocked by somebody in black and purple. And now here comes Tarleton back the other way. Bit of a collision and no foul call. And they're just going to say a loss of balance, essentially, for Callie Boyles. And ball rolled out of bounds. And that is where a timeout will be taken. 50 to 39 is your score. Mean Green in front here with 4.53 to play in the third quarter. You're listening to Mean Green Basketball from Learfield IMG College.
here in this second half. Both teams have scored six points a pop, keeping it at the 11 point differential it was when we headed into halftime. Friendly reminder to keep up to date with all things Mean Green via Mean Green Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Mean Green Sports is the best way to stay connected to North Texas athletics. Hashtag GMG. It'll be Mean Green ball out of the timeout. North Texas shooting 35% in this game, 33% in here in this third quarter as we're just underneath the Midway mark, 50 to 39, North Texas is in front. Brooks goes wing to wing for Townley. She'll send it down low for Shepard, who's checked back into the game. Shepard, little fadeaway jumper, no good, but draws the foul. Officials have not been afraid to blow whistles in this game. As Kelly Boyles gets charge. That's her fourth personal foul, and she'll check out now as Emily Cunningham comes in for her. Put Shar Shepard on the line, shooting two. Shepard, two trips so far, has not missed a free throw yet. And she still has not. She makes that one. Now five of five in this game from the line. Bumps the main green lead back up to 12, 51-39. Second attempt from Shepard, that one no good. Jackson almost got an offensive rebound out of it, but Fowry able to come away with it for Tarleton, and they'll bring it up the floor now. Alexa Hoy with it, gets it back over. No point now for Escamilla. Goes down low for Cunningham, turning, firing against Shepard, no good, and Shar comes away with the defensive rebound. And now the Mean Green come back up the floor. It is Nia Boyd with it. Boyd under duress, gets it to Townley. Jumper blocked that time. And Hoy comes away with the ball off the deflection. So sling this one to Fari. Fari being guarded by Jackson. Jackson poking it away and off the leg of Fari on its way out. And it will be Mean Green ball. Nice defensive play there by the sophomore, Jazion Jackson, to force the turnover. Be mean green ball here, 4.07 to play in the third quarter, 51 to 39 is the score. And now a bit of confusion between the officials and wonder if they might review this to see if it's North Texas ball or not. And no, they're going to go with the call on the floor. And so the mean green will have it. Townley inbounds it to Jackson and Jackson trots her way up the center of the floor. Townley on the wing, gets it to Brooks, who takes her spot. Now Brooks to the free throw line. Can't find any open space, gets it to Boyd. Still has 18 to shoot here. Jackson with it, holding onto it near the point, driving right side. Bit of a collision there, but no call. Jackson shot up, got it, and the foul for Jazion Jackson. Count the basket, and the foul is called on J.C. Morton. Excuse me, that's on Dorsey rather. That's Dorsey's fourth personal foul. And now a chance here at a three-point play for Jazion Jackson, who's got four points in this game. Looking to complete the three-point play. As now some time as one of the Tarleton players, that was Ayanna Dorsey, wanting an explanation from the Official Matt Krennic on the recent foul call. Explanations given. She checks out with four fouls. And now Jackson to complete the and one. No good. Shepard almost grabbed the offensive rebound, but just could not get a handle on it. Instead, it will go out of bounds. And it'll be Tarleton Ball. Cunningham inbounds it to Haley Ibarra, who's not seen much action in this game tonight. And Ibarra with it going left side. Now trying to spin around Jackson. And. Got caught. And this will go back to the Mean Green. On the backcourt violation, 53-39 is the score. 3.38 and counting here to play in the third quarter. Mean Green are in front. It is Jackson setting up off the screen from Townley. Sends it over to Townley on the far wing. Townley tried to go pass it through traffic, but couldn't find Shepard, but then comes away with a steal as Tarleton tried to come back the other way. Pass down low for Shepard. That one turned over on the pass from Jackson, and Ibarra comes away with it, and she'll work her way up the floor. 
Passes this one over to Hoy, holding it there as we approach three minutes left here in the third quarter. It is Hoy working from left to right, goes all the way over to the near wing, gets it to the point for Cunningham, who goes far wing again for Ibarra. Ibarra holding there, goes down low to Escamilla, trying to get around Townley, can't find any space, gets the fadeaway jumper off the high glass, though, and knocks it down, 53-41. Mean Green lead trim back down to 12 points. Bit of a collision. Maddie Cleary now with it on the outside. Almost lost control of it. Almost got called for a travel, but none coming. And still able to pass it back up to Boyd. Boyd driving towards the glass. Gets it to land. And Boyd, after that shot, comes up limping and is struggling to get back into the play. And that's going to prompt an injury timeout as Nia Boyd is in some pain and will check out and immediately go to the trainer's table. As Rochelle Lee will check in for her. Maddie Townley also comes out. Kira Neal back in as the training staff tends to Boyd. We'll try and get an update on her condition soon here. Again, North Texas already short three players for the season due to Various injuries, no Callie Owens, no Randy Thompson, no Trina Mims. All three recently having surgeries that will keep them sidelined for this entire 2020-2021 campaign. Tarleton Ball here out of the injury timeout. Two and a half minutes to play. It is Benson in the third quarter. High pass looking for Escamilla. That one instead grabbed right out of the sky by Shepard. And then Shepard put her foot on the baseline. And a break there for Tarleton as they'll get to keep it with a fresh 30 on the shot clock. Good steal by Shepard. Just unable to keep that back foot from going out of bounds. As now Tarleton back the other way with it. Floater, kind of an awkward line drive floater from J.C. Morton is able to land, and now back the other way. Cleary from downtown. That one off the front end of the rim, no good. And the rebound taken defensively by Morton, almost stolen away by Jackson, who is wreaking havoc down near the paint. Hoy comes away with it instead. She'll bounce this one outside to Cunningham. Cunningham from downtown knocks down the three ball, and it's back down to a single-digit difference. 55-46 is the score. Shepard now from downtown. Her three, no good. Cleary gets the rebound. Her shot up and good, and Maddie Cleary with her first collegiate points makes it an 11-point game, 56 to, or excuse me, 57 to 46 with a minute 39 to play here. In the third quarter, timeout is taken by Tarleton State. We will take it with them. 11-point game, Mean Green in front. This is Mean Green Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Today's information for all things Mean Green can be found on our website, MainGreenSports.com. Again, that is MainGreenSports.com. 57 to 46 is your score. North Texas is in front of Tarleton State. They have led by as much as 13. Lead is currently down to 11. Tarleton getting a little hot from the floor. They've made their last three attempted field goals in a row to keep this game at least within arm's reach. Still a bit of a hill to climb though here with a minute 39 to play in the third quarter. And it'll be Benson inbounding it to Hoy and the Texans will now work this one up the floor. Jackson with the 
Basically three quarters defense on her own. Tried to come away with a steal there. Couldn't though as the bounce pass gets to Dorsey. Now they'll kick this one around the horn to Cunningham. Goes down low for Benson. Trying to get around Rochelle Lee. Spinning right side. Contested shot. Up and lands over the outstretched arms of the 6-3 frame of Rochelle Lee. And it's back down to a single digit difference. Nine points. Here's a shot from Kira Neal. And Neal knocks down the jumper. Her first collegiate points. Again, after missing all of last season due to a preseason ACL tear. And it's back up to an 11 point difference 59 to 48. Bean Green are in front. Benson gets it, slings this one towards the wing. Now inside jumper from the left elbow from Escamilla, no good. And then a big collision underneath the basket will result in a foul call on North Texas. This will be against Rochelle Lee. And the transfer from Chattanooga picks up her third. And that will put Lucy Benson back on the free throw line once again. This is Benson's fifth, check that, sixth trip to the free throw line in this game. She's four of seven. Three trips off of shooting fouls, another on an and one, and then this trip. She makes the first. She's got 11 points now in this contest. Makes it a 10-point game, 59 to 49. Second attempt for the senior out of Kennedale. No good. And the rebound taken by Tamisha Lampkin, who's checked back into this game. It is Jackson with it. Back up the floor. High pass down low to Shepard. Shepard trying to get around a defender. Shepard creating space. Shepard! Right-handed shot up and good. Wanted a foul with the shot, but she'll get just the two instead. 61-49 as we roll under 30 seconds to play here in the third quarter. It's Hoy with it right to the glass. Shot rolled around the rim, no good. And Lampkin comes away with the rebound. Gets it to Jackson, and she'll work her way up the floor. Jackson down low for Shepard. Hands it off back to Jackson. Shot no good, too much on it. Defensive rebound from Escamilla. Shot clock is off. 13 seconds to play here in the third quarter. It's Hoy with it. Hoy waning. Watching, being guarded by Jackson, tries to get around on a screen, lost control of it, gets it to Lampkin, three seconds. Jackson to Neal at the buzzer shot, no good, no foul, and that is the end of the third quarter. Wild sequence to end it, but the Mean Green will take a 12-point lead into the fourth and final frame. 61-49 is the score. You're listening to Mean Green Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Outscores Tarleton State in the third quarter by just a point, 17 to 16, to give them a 12 point lead as the fourth and final quarter gets underway here from the Super Pit. North Texas trying to start their 2020 season 1 0, 10 minutes away from that if they can maintain this 12 point lead in a game that has been scrappy, chippy, a little undisciplined at times. Both teams still kicking the rust off of what was an abbreviated offseason for everybody due to the coronavirus pandemic. Right now, Nia Boyd leading all scorers with 14 points. Quincy Noble right behind her with 12, though Noble didn't score any points at all in that third quarter. All of her points came in the first half. Mean Green ball here to start the fourth and final frame, and it is Noble with it, working around left side, waiting, turning, firing. Nice patience by Quincy Noble, and she knocks it down. Tying Nia Boyd for the scoring lead with 14 points. 63 to 49 is your score. 
Hoy with it. Gets it off to Fari, who tries to drive inside. Shot up, no good, but does draw the foul. This will be on the mean green, and Maddie Cleary gets called for the foul. Well, they signaled Maddie Cleary, but there's no Maddie Cleary on the floor. It's supposed to be Tisha Lampkin. That'll be her first, and the first of two free throws here for Tarleton. No good from Marissa Escamilla. Escamilla led. Tarleton rebounds last year, averaged 5.4 points per game. She makes the second one, makes it a 13-point contest, 63 to 50 with nine and a half minutes to play. It is Jackson with it, trying to drive through, but we get a foul call away from the ball. This is on Tarleton's Emily Cunningham, who picks up her third. There's been no lack of foul calls in this game tonight. It has been a very Chippy affair for most of this game. Here's the inbound to Noble. Bounce pass down low to Lampkin. Shot up and good. First collegiate points for the freshman, Tamisha Lampkin, by way of Mansfield Summit. Makes it 65-50. 15-point lead. Biggest of the night for the Mean Green as Jazion Jackson almost came away with a steal near the bench, but unable to maintain it, and so it'll stay Tarleton ball here. No change in possession, so 24 seconds on the shot clock, and the inbound goes to Dorsey. Tarleton needs a run, and they need it here quick. Down by 15 with nine minutes to play in this game. Escamilla with it, tried to get it over to Morton, and some good defense from Destiny Brooks almost forced a turnover, but they said it hit Brooks on its way out of bounds, and so it'll stay with Tarleton. 11 seconds on the shot clock. 9.03 on the game clock. Morton looking for somebody to inbound it to. Gets it to Benson. Shot clock down to eight. Dorsey now with it on the wing. Gets around Jackson. Goes right to the cup. Her shot lays it up and in. 65 to 52. And now back the other way come the mean green. It is Jackson. Jackson just goes right to the glass. Shot is up, but no. She traveled on her way. Main Green bench not happy with the call. Solid effort by Jackson to go right to the basket. A lot of speed on that play, but officials rule she took one step too many, and so it'll go back here to Tarleton. 13-point game with eight and a half minutes to play. Bounce pass to Benson. They go outside for Cunningham. That pass deflected off the hands of McDowell, but it's somehow kept in by Tarleton, but then turned over. Destiny Brooks comes away with the steal. Brooks back up the floor the other way. Kicks it one out to Jackson. Goes up top for Noble. Noble from downtown. High arcing three. Good from Quincy Noble. 15 points for the redshirt sophomore, and it's a 68-52 North Texas lead. Dorsey back the other way with it for Tarleton. Waiting there against Jackson. Under eight minutes to play here at the Super Pit. Fake to pass, Dorsey then kind of tried to put up a shot haphazardly, half couldn't draw a foul, and instead it goes out of bounds. And the Mean Green take it back over. It's now Nia Boyd checking back into the game. Good to see after she exited with what appeared at first glance to be an ankle injury, but is trotting back up the floor here. No worse for wear. McDowell gets it over to Noble, and we get whistles away from the ball again, and another foul away from the ball. It'll be an offensive one called on McDowell, and she picks up her fourth, and that's going to prompt a substitution as McDowell's going to come out, and Emma Villas will check back in to this game. And Villas, a Long way from home, grew up just outside of Paris, France. Spent two years at Salt Lake Community College before playing last season with the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And then transferred to the Mean Green, was granted immediate eligibility despite not being a grad transfer. Here's a shot that's no good, and Villas gets the rebound. High pass over to Lampkin right on the money, and Tamisha Lampkin finishes it off with the right hand. Mean Green humming here now up by 18 points, and a timeout is taken by Tarleton. 
We will take it as well. 70 to 52 is the score. North Texas in front. This is Main Drink Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Getting underway here from the Super Pin. It is a 70 to 52 lead for the Mean Green. 18 points. That is their largest of this contest. And it has been a great game pretty much from the second quarter on. The first quarter was a bit rough. Texans outscored the Mean Green 18 to 13. But since then, it's pretty much been all Mean Green. Sands for a couple quick. Carlton runs here and there. 17 points for Quincy Noble. That leads all scores. Maya Boyd also in double digits with 14 points. Maddie Townley has 11 rebounds, but only four points. She still needs six to try and get a double-double in this game. Seven of those 11 rebounds for Townley came on the offensive glass. Tarleton with it here out of this timeout, and... The inbound to Cunningham. Cunningham was standing out of bounds when she caught that ball near the Tarleton bench, and so that draws immediate whistles. And it'll go back to the Mean Green, who appear to have this one well under control. Three turnovers for Tarleton in the last 100 seconds of basketball. It's Nia Boyd with it, and she'll come back the other way, running from the point, kicks it outside to Destiny Brooks, thinking about a three, now puts it up after a delay. No good, Lampkin with the rebound, put back, no good, but draws the foul as Tamisha Lampkin will head to the free throw line. Emily Cunningham picks up her fourth foul. And now Lampkin heads to the free throw line. First trip of her collegiate career to the charity strike when she makes the first and went to Summit High School in Mansfield, was the 7-6A District Player of the Year last year. Also a member of the TABC All-State team and first team All-Area from the Fort Worth Star-Telegram as she makes the second of both free throws, 72-52, 20-point lead now for North Texas as we run under seven minutes to play here from the Super Pit. It is Boyles. She'll send this one over to Cunningham, who bounces it down low to Benson, trying to turn around. Lampkin creates some space. Shot blocked by Lampkin, but she's going to get called for the foul. That'll be the second foul called against Tamisha. And that will put Benson to the line. Benson, of course, no stranger to the free throw line in this game. This is her 10th free throw attempt. First shot for Benson, no good. Off the back iron. Got a quick word of encouragement from teammate Callie Boyles, the hometown player, at least for today, who went to Geyer High School before deciding to take her talents southwest to Stephenville. Second attempt for Benson is also no good, and Noble comes away with the rebound, her third of this game, and now flying back up the middle is Quincy. Bullet pass to Lampkin, shot had too much on it and it didn't go. Benson comes away with the defensive rebound. Almost a beautiful play there by Quincy Noble to set up Lampkin, but Lampkin just put a little too much on the shot. Here's a bounce pass down low to Boyles, trying to get free on Noble, and a jump ball call will keep it with Tarleton. 
on the possession arrow. Still a 20-point game, 72-52, with 6.19 to play in this contest. North Texas looking to start off their 2020-2021 season with the win. And now right off that inbound, we immediately have a foul away from the ball. This is going to be on Tarleton. And that's going to be on Callie Boyles, the Denton native. And she picks up her fifth and has fouled out of this game as she'll finish without any points. One rebound, a turnover, and a block in seven minutes of action and what was a brief homecoming for her. It's now Nia Boyd with it back the other way for North Texas. Boyd high pass to Lampkin. Lampkin turning, firing shots. No offensive foul will be called on Tamisha Lampkin as she picks up her third. Team foul this quarter against the Mean Green. Just a little bit of contact there, but enough for the officials to blow the whistle. And so it'll be Tarleton ball as they come back up the floor. Dorsey with it, being guarded by Nia Boyd. Dorsey bounces this one to Hoy. Hoy being double teamed by Noble and Villas. Gets it down low. Nice pass and unable to finish on the shot was Escamilla. And coming away with the rebound is Boyd. Boyd still trying to get a handle on the ball, finally does. Kicks this one over to Noble, who puts up the three. That one air ball, but it goes right to Tamisha Lampkin, who's able to make up for it and put it back. 74 to 52 is the score. Villas over to Escamilla. Back over to Hoy, who now tries to drive down low. That's Fowry, excuse me, and Fowry able to draw a foul on the play. The fifth team foul against the Mean Green, which will put Tarleton into the bonus for the remainder of this contest. Destiny Brooks, the guilty party. She picks up personal foul number two, and now Naomi Fowry to take the free throws as Summer Jones checks back into the game. Fowry, 19 minutes tonight, but just three points. She's expected to be a big part of this offense for Tarleton in their Division I debut this season. She appeared in 26 games last year, but only had two starts and played sparingly due to nagging injuries. Second free throw, no good. Lampkin comes away with the rebound. She's been a monster off the glass here in recent minutes. Now Nia Boyd passes it down low to Brooks. Brooks off the glass, knocks it down. Destiny Brooks, five points in this contest, and it's a 76-53 lead as we roll under five minutes to play here in this game. It is Dorsey, fade away, shot thrown up. Does not land, but she is able to draw the foul. It'll go on Brooks, who picks up her third. And again, Tarleton in the bonus for the remainder of this game. Free throw up and good from Dorsey on the line. She knocks it down. She's no stranger to the free throw line either. This is her fifth trip tonight. This next free throw will be her 10th, and she hits it as well. 76-55, 21-point game. North Texas leads with 4.56 to play here in the fourth and final quarter. Villas with the inbound to Nia Boyd as she works her way up the floor. Boyd throws on the brakes on the near wing, kicks it to Summer Jones. Jones for three, no good, hit the front end of the rim and popped back out, and Benson's able to grab the defensive rebound. Back the other way comes Tarleton with it. It's Hoy, far wing, goes point now for Benson, works it around to the near wing for Dorsey. Down low for Cunningham, and Cunningham turns, fires with the right hand, and gets it to land, 76-57. is the mean green lead. Here's a pass from Boyd down low to Lampkin. Lampkin creating some space, knocks it down, and then almost ran over Kira Neal trying to get back on defense, but Lampkin, nice little burst of points here in the fourth quarter. She's got 10. And it's a 78-57 lead. Dorsey here with it for Tarleton. Slings it over to Cunningham. Goes outside now for Hoy. Down low to Cunningham, who just walks right through the lane and lays it up with the left hand. And Cunningham now in double figures in this game. Makes it a 78-59 mean green lead. Boyd working around a screen set by Villas. Gets the pass down low to Lampkin. And Lampkin on a roll. Another basket gives her 12 as she is now chasing Quincy Noble for the lead. Third 
in this game in terms of points scored, just two behind Nia Boyd, who's got 14. Cunningham for Tarleton gets it over to Dorsey. Over her head to Hoy at the point, trying to get around Kira Neal. And we get whistles away from the ball. And Are you kidding me? now a stoppage of play for reasons unknown. The officials have told Kira Neal to get off the floor. We're not sure why she might have been cut, as it looks like she's going to go over to the medical table. Not sure exactly what that was about. We haven't heard anything from the officials, but Neal will now look at things over near the uh, medical table, and we will resume play back the other way. Tarleton with the ball, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Here's the inbound to Hoy, down to eight seconds, down to six, down to five. Benson with it. Benson, shot contested, but up and good. Nice shot from the left elbow there from the 5'11 senior forward. Makes it an 80 to 61 game, just over three minutes to play. And here's a wild pass from Boyd towards Shepard. Just a little offline, maybe a little too much on it as well, and it goes out of bounds. And so it'll go back to Tarleton as Boyd checks out. Jazzy on Jackson comes back in. Maddie Cleary coming in for Kira Neal. As it does look like Neal might have been cut. That's why the officials told her to head to the bench to get patched up. Here's a nice move from Benson. Her shot rolls over the rim and in. 82-63 is the score. As now Jackson comes back the other way. It's DMAC with it now at the point off the pass from Jackson, looking for somebody. Bounces it to Shepard. Shepard jumper from just above the left elbow. No good. Cunningham fighting for the rebound, able to come away with it just in front of McDowell. She'll pass this one off to Fari, who gets it to Dorsey, and Dorsey walks it past midcourt. Dorsey. One one-on-one -on -one here against Jazzy on Jackson. It's one of the two and a half minutes to play in this game. It is a 17-point mean green lead. Benson with it down low. Again, Shepard fakes right, spins left, shot off the glass, no good. And DMAC comes away with the rebound. And here she comes, sends this one over to Jackson. Jackson attacking the glass. Her shot no good, but draws the foul. I'll put Jazzy on Jackson on the free throw line is Emily Cunningham. Picks up her fifth foul as she's now fouled out of the game. Second Texan to foul out of this contest as she'll join Callie Boyles on the bench. And now Jazzy on Jackson, who's got four points in this game, heads to the free throw line. This is her fourth trip to the line, but she's just two of five in this game. A couple substitutions made by Tarleton as J.C. Morton also Checks back in along with Marissa Escamilla. And the first of two free throws here from the sophomore from Dallas Skyline, Jazzy on Jackson. First one is good. Jazzy on known more as Jazz around the Mean Green program. Second free throw attempt for her is also good. Six points for Jazzy on. And that makes it an 82-63 game as we approach two minutes to go here from the super pit. It is Dorsey, lost the handle on it, and it, the ball kind of haphazardly bounces right into the grasp of Hoy, who now just attacks the glass after working kind of around the edge and gets the shot to land, 82-65. Jackson with it back the other way. Jackson waiting, bounce pass down low to Rochelle Lee. Lee turning shot off the mark, no good. Rebound taken defensively by J.C. Morton, and now Morton brings this one up the floor. Sends it over, this will be for three from Dorsey, in and out, no good. Rebound taken by Escamilla, who gets it on the putback and is able to land. 82-67 is the score. Jackson throws this one up, knocks it down. After navigating her way through some traffic in the paint, makes it 84-67, and now Dorsey with it. On the near wing goes point for Benson. Far wing now for Morton. Morton, under a little bit of pressure, goes high pass, trying to get it down low, just a little too much on it as they were trying to hit Escamilla on the run. But 
was just too far in front of her and goes out of bounds. And the Mean Green take over, leading 84-67 with 1.04 to play here in this fourth and final quarter. Mean Green all of last season only crossed over the 80-point mark twice, and they have done it here once in their first game of the season. Maddie Cleary from downtown! Maddie Cleary from three-point range. Five points for her in this contest, and it's back to a 20-point game as we're under a minute to play here from the Super Pit. Boy, baseline, floater, no good. Knocked away by Lee, and the rebound grabbed by Jackson, and then Jackson traveled, trying to grab it. And we'll go back to Tarleton here with 39.2 seconds left on the clock, and what Really just outside of that kind of sluggish start in the first quarter has been an otherwise dominating Mean Green performance here tonight. Headlined by 31 points in the second quarter alone. Here's a shot and a foul from Marissa Escamilla, drawing the foul on Destiny McDowell. And I believe that'll be the end of McDowell's night, and it will be as she's fouled out. Emma Villas checks back in. For the fouled out McDowell. And now free throw from Escamilla. The complete three point play is good. 87 to 70. 32 seconds and counting here to play in this game. Just about a four second difference between the shot clock and game clock. It's Jackson with it. Getting around Lee, being guarded by Dorsey. Jackson trying to drive inside, kicks this one over to Summer Jones. Jones puts up the triple, no good, rolls over the rim and out. Shot clock is off and now whistles, and a timeout will be taken here by Tarleton with 13.2 seconds to play. So they're gonna talk this last little sequence over here before the Game wraps up. Friendly reminder coming up on the Texas Health Presbyterian post-game show. We'll take a look at our James Wood Auto Park fast stats, as long as our uh, along with our post-game visit with the head coach of the Mean Green, Jaylee Mitchell, brought to you by Adams Exterminating. We'll of course pick our Raising Canes Player of the Game and have a conversation with her as well. Leading candidate for that at the moment is Quincy Noble, who in her debut has had quite an afternoon, or evening rather, 17 points. That's tied for the game lead that leads the main green in scoring. She's got three triples in this contest. Also three rebounds and two assists to her stat line as well, and what a Return to action for her after sitting out all of last year due to transfer rules came over from New Mexico, University of New Mexico, not New Mexico State. New Mexico in Albuquerque. New Mexico State in Las Cruces. Noble playing for the former 19 appearances in her freshman season before transferring to be closer to home or her Family lives in McKinney. Standout player with the McKinney Lions. Averaged 17 points, five and a half rebounds her senior year with the Lions program. And now one final possession here out of the timeout for Tarleton. 13.2 seconds to play, 17 point Bean Green lead. Here's the inbound, stolen away by Jackson, but Jackson also committing a foul on the play. Say the officials, and that's the third Foul called against Jackson, so that will put Tarleton on the line here with 12.6 seconds left to play. It'll be Ayanna Dorsey heading to the free throw line. Dorsey tied with Noble for the game scoring lead with 17 points of her own. First free throw is in and out, no good. Tarleton shifts around who they want near the paint on the second free throw attempt for Dorsey, and that one's good. She's got 18 in this game, 12.6 seconds left. They inbound it to Jackson, gets it out to Summer Jones. Jones 
Holding it there near the far wing. Six seconds down low to Lee. That one poked away. Taken back. Two seconds down to one. Shot right at the buzzer is off the mark. And that is how the Mean Green will start this season 1 0. 87 to 71 is the final score as North Texas wins their opener. Post game show coming up next, brought to you by Texas Health Presbyterian. You're listening to Mean Green Basketball from Learfield IMG College. All right, let's set up this post game interview thing. 